What's up, everyone? Welcome to BYU Sports Nation right now. It's me, Kiki Solano, here to catch you up on all things BYU sports. Today, we're talking about some Cougs in the NFL, BYU women's hoops, and I've got a very special kind of watch list for you. Let's do this. Back, back again. Hey, focus, yes, focus. Back. Right, all right, okay. Jamal Williams is back on the practice field. He's in full pads playing for the Packers after he injured his ankle playing in a preseason game against the Steelers. Taysom Hill, he's not even at BYU, but he's still making headlines here. NFL.com predicts that Taysom Hill will be first team all pro on special teams. Now that's special. You're my special friend. What else is special? Number nine. Why? because something special is happening in nine days. Countdown to the Wildcats. Nine days till BYU football's season opener. You know what else takes nine days? <laughs> Binge watching all 25 seasons of The Simpsons. Seriously, I looked it up. No, 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 no. Well, yes. BYU Women's Hoops is doing work in their off season. They're touring Europe and they're scheduled to play professional European teams while they're there. The girls won 79 to 76 against a professional Czech team. What's the secret to their success? Could be great teamwork, an awesome coaching staff, team spirit, or maybe it's a loyal fan base that will follow them anywhere. A lot of BYU athletes have made preseason watch lists. There's Micah Simon, Corbin Kafusi, and plenty of others. This got me thinking, what other watch lists should there be that BYU doesn't have, but deserves? First up is Best Hair. There's Squally Canada, he's a running back on the football team. He's always rocking good hair. There's Cassidy Smith, she's a goalkeeper for women's soccer. TBH, I really just want her hair. And then there's all of the Cougarettes. All of them. Can we get that, can we get that hair flip video again? <laughs> Next up, best victory celebration. There's Mary Lake on the women's volleyball team. Hard not to celebrate with her. There's Yoli Childs. He gets this just because of his consistency. And then there's Cosmo. Everything Cosmo does is basically a celebration. Next up, cutest couple. Aww. There's Matt Bushman and Emily Lewis, power couple right there. There's also Talon Ballard, and Dalton Nixon, newly engaged, love it. And don't forget about Riley Gates and Maddie Sidaway Gates. And lastly, Lindsay Haddock and Kramer Epic. They're all cute. Can you really decide between all of them? You cannot. Next up, most versatile athlete. There's Corbin Kafusi, Caitlin Aldridge, Sarah Hampson. They've all played multiple sports here at BYU. That blows my mind. Now time for the most athletic family. There's the Hodge cousins, Bo and Tristan, both on the football team. And there's the sister duo, Lindy and Lacey Haddock, both on the women's volleyball team. And okay, you're gonna have to bear with me on this one because we've got the Kafusi family dynasty. There's Corbin Kafusi, Devin Kafusi, Bronson Kafusi, Alexis Kafusi, and their cousins, Jackson and Isaiah. Woo! Best mustache. All right, you're gonna wanna keep an eye out on the entire offensive coaching staff. Yep, I've told you before, but they're all growing mustaches. We're gonna have to see who looks the best by the end of the season, if they keep them that long. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. 
If you're thinking of any other watch list that didn't get mentioned, be sure to tweet us at BYU Sports Nation and follow us there. We're on Twitter, on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook. We're all over the place. See you next time.